Welcome sa sipnahin.com. This video, tutuloy natin ating series on uh, subtraction of fractions. No? Sa previous video, pinag-usapan natin kung paano ba uh, gamitin yung, yung technique no? o yung shortcut na nagbabarrow tayo from whole numbers para hindi tayo uh, mag-convert uh, ng uh, mixed fractions to improper fractions. No? So dito, tutuloy natin yan. At uh, kung napansin nyo kasi uh, from the previous video, ang ginamit natin din puro similar fractions, no? So, dito ay uh, gagamit tayo or ng examples na uh, dissimilar. No? So, we have uh, 6 and 1. Oh, sorry. 7 and 5, 6 muna tayo. 7 and 5, 6. Minus 4 and 1 third. So, sabi natin sa strategy na to hindi tayo gagamit ang mixed fraction. So, ang, ang gagalawin lang natin dito is yung uh, uh, fractions, no? Fractional part nung, nung mixed fraction. So, ang gagalawin lang natin is 5, 6, tsaka 1 third. Well, kunin natin yung LCD ng 6, tsaka 3, and I think it's obvious, no? By listing, we have 6, 12, we have 3, 6, automatic 6 na kaagad yung ating LCD, no? So, ibig sabihin, kagawin nating lahat ng fraction na 6 yung kanyang denominator. So, 6 divided by 3, 2 times 1, 2. 2 over 6, 5 over 6. Wala tayong gagawin dito kasi 6 na siya eh. So, magiging 7 and 5, 6 minus 4, ang 1 third ay 2, 6. Now, the strategy is to always, of course, pag nagma-minus tayo, kailangan natin na pareho yung denominator, no? Kailangan natin gawing similar fractions. Ngayon, pag naging similar na siya, you check, no? If you can subtract. So, 5 over 6 minus 2 over 6, pwede ba? Wala, hindi pa tayo magne-negative. No, no? So, pag nag-negative tayo, hindi yun pwede. Tsaka tayo magbabarrow. But here, 5 over 6 minus 2 over 6 is 3 over 6, no? And 7 minus 4 is 3. Okay na to kaso hindi pa tayo naka lowest terms. Ang 3 over 6, pwede pa natin siya divide by 3. No? Both the denominator and the numerator. So this is 1 half. Ibig sabihin, this is the same as 3 and 1 half, which is our final answer. Okay, so number 2, we have 7, oh, sorry, 6 and 1 fifth minus 3 and 3 fourth. Okay, so... Dito, by the way, hindi tayo nag-borrow, no? Ginawa lang natin is, uh, ginawa lang natin uh, similar. Kaso, nung ginawa natin similar, mas maliit pala yung, yung ating subtrahen. So, no, no need to borrow from, from 7, no? So, here, again, we have two uh, fractions that are not similar. So, 1 fifth at saka 3 fourth. Ano ang LCD niyan? 20, no? Gawin nyo na lang using listing. So, 20, dapat lahat ng fractions, 20, 20 divided by 5, 4. Dapat lahat ng fractions, 20 yung denominator. So, 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 1 is 4. And then, 20 divided by 4, 5 times 3, 15. Meaning, pwede natin isulat to us, 6 and 4 over 20 minus 3 and 15 over 20. Question, pwede ba tayo mag-minus? Pwede ba 4 minus 15? Cannot be, no? So, gagawin natin is to borrow 1 from 6. Magiging 5 na siya. And then, we add 1 to the fraction, which is 20 over 20, no? Kasi 1 nga. So, dapat pareho ang denominator sa numerator. At gusto natin siya isunod dito sa 20 rin, no? Para hindi na tayo, tayo mag-LCD ulit. Dapat pare-pareho sila. So, this becomes 24 over 20. Pero may 5 pa tayo dito. Minus 3 and 15 over 20. Pwede na ba mag-minus yung fractions? 24 over 20. Minus 15 over 20. That's 9 over 20. And 5. Minus 3 is 2. 9 over 20. Now, bago tayo magtapos, gusto ko kayong palalahanan no? kasi ang common mistakes 
ng mga estudyante is that, for example, 9 minus uh, 2 and 3 fourth. I think, uh, 2 and 1 fourth. I think this is one of, this is one of our examples, no? Doon sa previous video. So, ang ginagawa nila, 9 minus 2, 7 na. 7 and 1 fourth. Mali yan, no? Kasi, wala kang, wala kang may minus dito. Dapat may 0 minus 1 fourth ka. Cannot be yan. Kala malito. So, dapat parehong may fractions. Just to be safe. Dapat parehong may fractions yan. Para hindi kayo na mali dito. Yung, kung nandito yung walang fraction, halimbawa, 9 and 1 fourth minus 2, pwede kayo mag-minus kasi 1 fourth minus 0. Eh. So, 1 fourth, di ba? And then 9 minus 2, 7. But this, this is, this is wrong. No? So, wag yung gagawin to. Dapat, magbabaro kayo ng 9 para magkaroon ng dalawang fractions. No? Yan yung paalala ko, yung paalala, bago tayo magtapos sa series na to. So, maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik dito sa Siplayan. Uh, gusto ko yung imbitahin sa siplayan.com. Nandiyan yung ating website. Nandiyan yung mga links ng videos na pagkakasunod-sunod. No? So, puntahan nyo yan. And then, of course, pwede kayo mag-subscribe uh, sa ating channel sa Siplayan uh, sa YouTube. And uh, pag nakasubscribe kayo, ay may inform kayo sa inyong email. Um, every time we have a new video. So, you para makapag-subscribe, you log into your uh, Google account and then go to the SIP9 channel and then click the subscribe button. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.